Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. Um, today we're going to be doing a, another movie review. We just did our first one um, by the time this video comes out, probably yesterday. Uh, it's a soul movie review, so if you want to go check that out, please go onto the channel and click on that. Um, but yeah, today we're reviewing uh, Wonder Woman 1984. And um, before we start, I just want to say... Uh, we wanted both of us, but I can speak for both of us when I say that we both wanted this movie to be really good. Uh, twenty twenty has been a year with like twenty twenty has been a year with yeah, with like a lack of movies and action movies and superhero movies as well. Uh, and it was exciting to get a DC movie, um, another DC movie this year, and I feel like DC, uh, has been on a roll with their past few movies they, they had a good the one... year last year i'd say yeah uh, i feel still, like the I one movie that let them down that the one the one movie that let them down was birds of prey recent movies but um uh aquaman yeah you need to watch that i think that's really good i don't know what your guys opinions on it is but i think it's really good but yeah we're here to review wonder woman 84 um uh we're gonna just do our non-spoiler thoughts first like quickly yeah, I guess plot synopsis is probably a good thing to start with because that's a very important reason as to whether you will or won't like this movie but um yeah i guess the plot I don't, is I, um, I don't know i guess the plot uh for this movie is that wonder woman's just living life in 1984 obviously a long time after the first wonder woman movie and um she gets the opportunity to reunite with steve trevor uh through certain circumstances and uh, we see the source of that coming true uh, become the main kind of power play in the movie where Wonder Woman goes around and gets into a bunch of fights. And this movie is awful. I, uh, uh, yeah, it's a mess. It's just, a complete mess. Yeah, it's just... Uh, it's, I'm so disappointed with this because I wanted this to... I actually wanted this to be good. I was pulling for this movie to be good and it just it wasn't... It was so bad and like... I'm so disappointed. I just uh, like I was just sitting there when it ended with like an empty feeling. <laughs> like I just I don't know what to like say. It was just I, if you liked the first Wonder Woman movie, I'm so sorry because I actually like enjoyed the first Wonder Woman movie. The third act wasn't very good, but the first two were really good in my opinion. Uh, it had like a few cringy scenes and stuff, but it's nothing compared to this. This movie is absolutely horrendous. The um. Only thing that I can maybe give a pass to is the actors at times. Uh, Gal Gadot did a decent job as Wonder Woman, even though sometimes it seemed like she wasn't really all in. Like, she didn't really care that much in certain scenes, I felt. I didn't look like she was giving it her all at times. Um, Chris Pine was great. Kristen Wiig was surprisingly good. Uh, as Because uh, I was scared about... Well, her performance is good. I'll get into the character later, I guess. That's more of a spoilery sort of thing. Uh... Chris Pine was good. Pedro Pascal's the one where I was a bit iffy. I don't. Know. Did you like his performance in the movie? His, his, his performance mostly made me laugh, but like I yeah, said, I it think was like it was. I think it was more the writing. The I think it was more the writing, and I feel like I feel like that wasn't him actually performing. I feel like he might have toned it down a little bit to seem more like. I, don't know, I told you down. He of... went ridiculously over the top. In my I opinion. I think he was forced to. That's what I think. I don't know if that's like that's probably well, not it had true. To be I don't know. Maybe, but we, I, think. I don't think I've seen Pedro Pascal turn in a bad performance aside from this. <laughs> like no, the, uh, the only two things I've seen him in are Equalizer, The Mandalorian and Mandalorian, uh, Equalizer yeah. Two, and, and gre he was both in great. He was great in both. I've heard it was that like, uh, he's good in Game of Thrones as well. So I, I don't know what happened here. Oh yeah, but, I've seen clips from that. Yeah. Um, it, <laughs> but this this movie's just it's a complete mess. There's there's no flow to the story at all. The pacing is horrendous. The second act of the movie is ridiculously boring. Wonder Woman's barely in the movie, surprisingly. Um I don't think that's a spoiler to be honest. That Wonder Woman shows up like in her actual Wonder Woman suit. Obviously Diana's there, but as Wonder Woman, which is what we came to see, she's barely in the movie. This is more about Diana and Steve Trevor than it is about Wonder Woman, which is fine because I don't mind superhero movies where there's, like, for example, Spider-Man 2, which is my favourite superhero movie of all time. Most of that movie is without Spider-Man. A lot of it's just about Peter Parker, but the stuff they do with Peter Parker is interesting, so I don't mind. But with this, the, everything they do with Wonder Woman uh, is good. Well, no, I, don't, I can't say that even. It's, it's better than the stuff they do with Diana and Steve, though. I'd take that stuff over... Um, what they did with uh, I take the stuff with Wonder Woman of what they did with Diana and Steve but 
I don't know, it's just that it, it felt like certain parts of it felt like a betrayal of Wonder Woman's character, and it felt like especially with the stuff they set up in the first movie, it felt like a complete total shift and it just it was just a complete trade wreck in my opinion. I, I mean, I, I think um, that's I think I that's that's about. from your view as a like an actual Wonder Woman fan. From me, I'm not a Wonder Woman fan. Like yeah, I don't like, like I'm familiar with the character. Yeah, yeah, I'm I've never grown like I grew up with like Batman, Superman, but never really Wonder Woman. So um, I kind of and the first movie I thought was okay. I thought it was overhyped. You know how a lot of people think that Black Panther is overhyped. Mm. I thought that movie was overhyped. And um, I still I, think I it's okay. I think a lot of people... I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I don't think it's the best movie in the DCE. It's probably second best to Shazam, I'd say, from what I've seen of the DCE, at least. I, didn't I thought it was okay, but I appreciate it a lot more now that I've seen this movie. Yeah. But I wanted this movie, because from the first movie, I still didn't feel like I was, like, becoming a Wonder Woman fan. Because I genuinely want these films, like, make me fans of these characters that I'm unfamiliar with. Like, mm-hmm. and all the films she's been in, BVS... Uh, no, that's horrible. Uh, Justice League, no, horrible. The first one, uh, first Wonder Woman, okay, fair enough. Um, and this was just terrible. I felt like this movie didn't grip me. Obviously, we were watching it at home because it's I obviously think, on streaming services. I don't think it's her fault though that this movie is terrible. She's not the problem. The problem is it's not. Her, I'm not. Bl- I'm not blaming her yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. I'm saying that they're ruining her character if yeah, she, if yeah, her yeah, character is yeah. meant to be good. So, mm. b- um, this movie i didn't feel like it was gripping me whatsoever obviously we're watching it at home i was watching it on my laptop you were probably watching it on your tv um it TV, it's obviously yeah. not a cinema experience because if we're in the cinema we're not pulling out our phones or anything at home, i wasn't even pulling out of... my phone really though i was like concentrating on it the whole time but a lot of it was so dumb and made so little sense there's so many plot holes and plot inconsistencies in this movie and there's so many things that just happen because they need to happen for the story to advance like uh this is again non-spoiler section wonder woman gets powers which i won't say but wonder woman gets powers in this movie out of nowhere because the plot requires it and there's there's no sound or like reasonable explanation as to why she has these powers now she just has them because plot and a lot of this movie is like that it's just things happening because we need the plot to move forward and we need wonder woman to do this or do that, or certain things do or don't happen. So, like, um, actually, I, I don't want to say that, but uh, we'll, we'll it... clear this first. Yeah. We'll clear all the non spoilers first, then we'll go on to the spoilers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. But, um, um, I think, I think, like I was saying, it wasn't really gripping me. I found myself, I was telling you this earlier, I found myself like checking my phone a lot throughout the film, which I don't t- tend to usually do with films that I'm actually like invested in. And also, I found myself, which was one big thing, found myself checking the time, like to see when it was going to finish. It was yes, very much like, dragging. It yeah. was very much dragging, like from the second said, half the of the film. the pacing for this movie is really bad. I, the second act of this movie just goes on for so long. The third act isn't particularly good either, because, uh, well, I, actually, I guess we could break it down. At least for me, I'll quickly break it down. Act one was just the first, like, 15 minutes which is a flashback sequence which is completely pointless to the rest of the movie but was somehow the best scene in the whole movie um the uh the first act was fine it wasn't like anything horrendous the second act was ridiculously boring in my opinion there's so little happening and certain things that do happen just happen like i said because they need to move the plot forward and uh they need certain things to happen so that characters can get to certain places or do certain things and then the third act is just a complete chaotic mess especially that the fight like the big fight scene that we've seen on the trailer with wonder woman and cheetah is terrible that scene was just horrendous. i mean yeah we'll, we'll talk we'll talk more about this like in yeah, the spoiler spoilers, thing yeah pretty much i think is that both of us done for the non-spoiler so we could just move into spoilers and just yeah, so I guess to, it because to, to we can't really criticize this movie properly without yeah, talking about what spoilers, happens. Yeah. Like, yeah, without, I guess like, to, yeah. to summarize, um, the acting is fine, the story is terrible, makes no sense, the dialogue isn't particularly great, the CGI and special effects, which is one thing we didn't talk about, wasn't good in my opinion. A lot, like there's there's scenes where Wonder Woman's like running in front, like on. Uh, like you could tell that when they made it, it was in front of a blue screen and Gal Gadot was just running on the spot, and there was just like a blue screen behind it and they just CGI'd it but um, yeah the visual effects were particularly good the action was disappointing this whole movie is just a disappointment realistically I don't think this movie needed to be made like yeah, this I movie just didn't need to happen the reason this movie was made is because they made too much money on the first one to ignore and then they needed the second one and then they said to Patty Jenkins come and make it and she was like sure and um, 
Yeah, uh, I guess also, do we want to give a score before we go to the uh, spoilers? Um, yeah, sure. Our my non-spoiler score is probably. I'd give. We do now have ten, so yeah, I'll probably give it about ten. Probably uh, give it about the last a, review, but we'll do it now. From now, I'll on. give it a four. I'll four. give it a four out of ten. Yeah, I'll give it a four. I'm I'm gonna go about the same. I'd say like three point five though. And I think so, I'm being very fairly generous because this movie like could be a lot lower. Four, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I'm being fairly generous because I think this movie could be a lot lower. I feel like some people we got like a little taster before it actually came out because critic reviews came out and they were horrible. Basically, they were horrible. No, they weren't horrible. They it had like eighty nine percent for a bit. It's when the review embargo lifted uh, lifted at the um, IMDb score and all that came out where it was like, yeah, this movie's not good. That was once the movie was out. But uh, yeah, I guess just time to move on to spoilers now because this is where the meat and potatoes of this movie just come if in you haven't life. seen if you haven't seen the movie uh if you, you could go and watch it i'm uh, not gonna yeah. tell you to go and watch it if you don't want to watch it you yeah, can go uh, watch it if you want i wouldn't I recommend, wouldn't recommend it, but... it but yeah if you want to, if you're a dc free. fan go just go and just go and take a take mm. a look you might you might find it i guess better if you're than in america did. and you have a hbo max subscription then it's fine you yeah, you could go. Yeah, if you have a so HBO Max subscription, you go well, ahead. If, you if you're in it, the but... UK, you might struggle to find a place to watch it, but um, I'm sure you'll find something if you if you really want to watch it that yeah. much. I don't. I don't pers- people. Personally, yes. I don't. I don't recommend it. If you've got time to waste, go and watch it. Basically, that's yeah, all. Two and a half hours of time, which is ridiculously long. Maybe should have been cut a lot shorter as well. Also, uh, one thing I guess I didn't say um, in the non-spoiler section: Steve Trevor and Cheetah are completely pointless in this movie, and they need to. They needed to cut a lot of that stuff out to make the runtime a lot shorter because it's ridiculously long and it's, it shouldn't be that long. <laughs> There's no reason yeah. for it to be that long. But uh, yeah, spoilers. Yeah, now, so spoilers now. So click off if you have. If yeah, you if you guys watch the film, movie, click off. Uh, if not, then feel yeah, free to we're here with spoilers. Rant about how so, horrible this movie is. Um, let's let's start. I feel like with the first scene. Uh, when we see her, uh, like as like a young, the flashback Train, scene. Like the that was my favorite. That was my favorite scene. That was my favorite scene. Uh, yeah, that was my favorite it, scene. It, I think it, mostly it sort of made sense until you see the rest of the movie and you realize that scene's completely pointless. Like, yeah, they stuff. never really explain the, what's the going thing, on. The only thing that I've seen people say, which again I feel like is a bit of a stretch, is that oh, um, the whole cheating thing, uh, where like uh, her like Robin Wright's character, I don't remember the character's name, um says to Wonder Woman, like, little Diana, that you shouldn't cheat because nothing good comes of lies or whatever. Um, and then uh, later in the movie, I guess she technically cheats death with Steve, but I feel like that's just stretching for a connection because that's not really what happens with Steve. I feel like that scene bit. was there for two reasons, personally. They keep on going on about... Reason. I think I can think of one reason why it's there, but yeah. I've you, got, you got two. Reason. They showed the golden eagle armor thing there, which mm. uh, they don't touch on it, but it's shown. So there's yeah. kind of one reason. And the second reason is they keep on talking about the truth thing, and that idea is heavily repeated throughout the movie. The idea of the truth, and apparently, well, not even apparently, that's like the big thing the, the that big sort of message, saves yeah. the day. That's the big thing that sort of saves the day. So I feel like that was kind of setting up for that. Uh, yeah. The, the the reason I think that scene was in there is because they had Robin Wright and um, I forgot who played Wonder Woman's mum. Uh, the actress who played Wonder Woman's mum. They had them under contract and they probably had to bring them back for another movie. So let's just shove in a random scene where they appear and let's just never bring it up again because it's completely pointless. I mean, it's just like it's, it's stuff like this movie feels lazy. That's the thing that annoyed me. And then after that scene, uh, we have a re- like really goofy scene of like Wonder Woman just saving people, and it's like the most fabricated eighties aesthetic ever. Uh, I don't know why this movie was set in the eighties anyway. You could have set this in like twenty sixty five or something, and it wouldn't have made any difference. There was like as long as this movie was set, this movie could have been set after Justice League and BVS and everything else because it, it probably the, okay, would have made can... more sense if that was the case. Because if the because be if the spoilers, the powers she gets, she doesn't use in BVS or Justice League, yeah, so that doesn't make she, any sense. She somehow is able to fly now, which they don't explain how. She just can. Uh, and the thing I didn't get about that, she's just got her powers back um, after, like, because obviously she relinquishes the wish from uh, yeah, bringing Steve back. The wishing stone. Um, so she's just got her powers back, and then, what well, does that give her, like, a turbo boost or something that she could just fly now all of a sudden? 
It's the, it's the Steve she... Trevor thing. I think that's the link, but we'll talk about that in a bit once we... Uh, one, I feel like this review is going to go on for a lot longer than we thought it was going to be, to yeah. be fair, because yeah. there's a lot to talk about. A so, lot of spoilers, uh, yeah. S- stay tuned for the ride, I guess. But yeah. um, that 80s scene was like... It was very like heavily fabricated. Like you said, it, fa- it, it didn't it feel like... like fake, yeah. It's like... Yeah, what it didn't a person feel who, realistic. What a person who wasn't born in the 80s thinks the 80s is, and they just put that in the movie, and then they thought, okay... That's just like you know what it the... reminded me of, but I think what? this the other thing the other thing did it better. Stranger Things, but Stranger Things did it a go- lot better. Than, I was going to say than... that. I was literally just about to say that, that. If you want a good example of how to do the eighties, look at Stranger Things because Stranger Things yeah, Stranger Things did fake. it a lot it better than like this film did. It actually yeah. feels like what the eighties would have like. It doesn't feel like a snapshot of the best moments of the eighties and all the fashion trends and colors and stuff. And let's just shove it in a movie. Like it's just it it felt fake, and then the pacing after that mall scene just kind of tanks in my opinion nothing really happens for a long period of time we see a uh, christian Wiggs we see a lot of playing... pointless scenes we see a lot yeah. of pointless scenes which just like i feel like it's, it's, it feels like filler like it's, it's not this movie's filler, two and a half hours like, long and it drags so yeah it does drag uh there's so much that they tell you in those scenes it's just like exposition dumping like the whole thing with the stone uh which no, the but even not, stone not even the stone stuff by the way uh, uh, not what, even the what, stone what stuff. I was going, yeah. like, you know, but like before the mall thing happened, the mall scene, mm. the stuff that this is like trying them, them trying to push the 80s th- theme as well. Uh, the stuff with like the kids robbing the store and pushing the bride into the water and stuff. That's so pointless. And it's just all yeah, there to push I this mean, sort of that, 80s theme. That didn't theme. take up too much time, I guess. It, I didn't really like care about it. It was goofy and stupid. Like that part when, like you said, when, um, it's when they push that bride into the water or whatever. <laughs> it's kind of funny. In. It was kind of funny. But... In, like she's Spider Man and then Yeah. Uh picks uh picks the lady up. But um the, there was just like it, this movie was like so weird in terms of the way it was structured and paced. Like after that obviously we had like the scene with um uh Barbara uh what's her name? Uh Kristen Wig. I, f- I forgot the actress's name. Uh, with Kristen Wiig as Barbara, and she uh, that scene was like straight out of Amazing Spider-Man too. That part with oh, I legit said this to you. I was texting you. I was yeah. watching it, and I was like, "This you is literally, like, you literally it's like said Electra. to me. Uh, you literally said to me, Do you know what this is reminding me of?'" And then I said, "The Amazing Spider-Man 2 And then, like, the second after I said that, you said "The Amazing Spider-Man 2 We both thought the same thing. It's literally it's Jamie Foxx's Electro, or, like Jim Carrey's Riddler. Uh, I saw like Chris Upman, who I watch on YouTube. His reviews are really good. Uh, he said that, and I agree. It, it kind of reminded me of Selena Kyle as Catwoman. Part of it did, uh, but then I, it, it wasn't quite just, as well as that, in my opinion. I don't like. She just drops all the papers on the floor. No one wants to talk to her. He's completely reminded me of Electro. Yeah. I I don't like this character. Like in this it's, movie, it's, it's I feel like I've seen she in other properties. Think she's good. Think she's yeah. okay in animated stuff. But here, I do not like her. I don't understand what her motive is. Yeah, it's the only, really the only confusing. Thing that we get is that she wants to be confident and like Wonder Woman, which is literally just there. So it it felt like uh, they needed to have someone who matched uh, Wonder Woman in power. You know, like how in Logan, how they made X twenty four just so that he. The thing match is, Wolverine Cheetah does power. Cheetah in the comics and uh-huh. stuff does match Wonder Woman in power, yeah, but no, she has but these sort of upgrades. Yeah, it's not because she's, uh, as far as I know, at least from the comics, I'm pretty sure it's not because she's she not a nerd or anything, and yeah. like she wishes for it. I don't yeah. think that's the point in the comic. This is like it was completely like beyond me what's happening because she gets um, nearly harassed uh, in the street by, yeah, by uh, a, a guy, drunk yeah. man and then get saved by Diana she's obviously in shock which obviously is that's okay like a normal reaction then, for that and then she goes back to the lab and wishes to be like Diana who she met five minutes ago by the way and just knows like I'm pretty sure she doesn't know anything about her like uh, th- didn't they just meet in that scene before that I yeah mean, they uh, met in the scene before that purely because she kicked a man halfway across the park <laughs> yeah it's just <laughs> it's so, the movie is so dumb, and then um, obviously Wonder Woman gets her hands on the stone and wishes that Steve comes back. Here's the re- the part where it just all just uh, like went completely mental to me. It didn't make complete like just made no sense. Um, the scene where uh, Wonder Woman's at that party thing, and then um, she's just walking around, just looking for Maxwell Lord, who um. Obviously, she knows wants the stone. But then, also, another scene before that, you know when uh, Cheetah's being, like, 
she's like all happy and all that because everyone's paying attention to her now and the Maxwell Lord's being all nice to her and then mm. um, uh, Wonder Woman's like being uh, like saying like to her basically leave Maxwell Lord alone or whatever it's like why is Wonder Woman being mean to her in that sense because like she's, she wanted a guy to be interested in her and now that someone is she's just being like douchey to her and that's not part of Wonder Woman's character, at least to me. I don't, I don't like the way they present Wonder Woman in this movie. She's they, not they, acting she's, like Wonder Woman at times. She's proper like mean for like no reason whatsoever. At times, at times, yeah. At yeah. times, and yeah. And I don't know. Scene, she just seems this... very stressed for no reason, except for the wishing stone thing, which and... wouldn't have been a big deal if like just no one would have wished for anything. I don't yeah. know. But anyway, back to the Steve Trevor thing. Um, that didn't make any sense. Where. There's like a scene where um, Wonder Woman obviously uh, is at a party just looking around and then uh, some guy's following her like uh, I need to talk to you and then she's basically like leave me alone you creep weirdo or whatever. She doesn't say that but that's basically what she was implying. Yeah that, that that's um, what she was implying. <laughs> yeah and then uh, and then he says the line from the first movie I think he says I wish we had more time and then you're just like okay why is this guy Steve Trevor and then the camera <laughs> just pans around and then it's just Chris Pine. And you're like, okay, what the hell's happened here? No, none of this is explained, by the way. Um, well, then, it's not explained, but it's sort of like they no, well, then they, they get try, to they attempt scene. to explain it, but they it's get very to a later confusing. Scene where he looks in a in, in a mirror and he sees himself, but then Wonder Woman sees him as Chris Pine. So it's not actually Chris Pine. It's so basically, the, guy who's life's the best hijacked. explanation we can. The best, the best explanation we can give of this is, is, even though it's not fully explained or confirmed, is that, first of all, this is what I thought, because I was really confused. I thought that that was an aged version of Steve Trevor, but then that just didn't make any sense. Make so any then sense I was like, all, yeah. Yeah. And then, and then you said to me that it's basically the spirit of Steve Trevor's taken over someone else's it's, body, which makes. The spirit of Steve Trevor, it's not like Palpatine or something, but it's like. Might be. <laughs> yeah. Well. This is this movie raised no one, about as many questions. They should have put in the trailer. No, no one's ever really gone, and then <laughs> they should put Steve Trevor laughing at the <laughs> end. <laughs> yeah, that one. Was Trevor Palpatine, Steve Palpatine. Not yeah, she Steve Palpatine, Palpatine. Steve Palpatine. That's what they should have called him. But um, they had the weird, like that whole thing. I mean, it's weird because like Wonder Woman's just going along like it's Steve Trevor, but it's not. It's just this other random guy whose life has been hijacked. Like, does it, does this guy not have his own life? Uh, well, well let's just say this guy just back like, to reality. This guy just missed like the whole like time period of this movie he's just set in like the like yeah. the whole like three what days, has, four what days. Like, job and he's like, w- w- wouldn't he get fired? He was uh, he was in the end, wasn't he? I swear that was him at the yeah, end. He, in yeah, the yeah, snow scene. The the so end, clearly he's all he's all right that's, then, basically. That's so a separate thing, but um, yeah, there's a few like um, uh, there's well not a few issues. There's a lot of issues. Maxwell Lord's character is weird. The, that character was just like so over the top and stupid, and it didn't really make any sense what he was doing. Like his plan makes no sense. You know what? I don't get. How does he know about the wishing stone thing? Uh, yeah, because he just had like files that just explained it somehow. They they didn't really go into that, to be honest. They, they, there's no explanation for anything in this movie. As I said, things just happen. And the then, wishing thing doesn't make sense for me to me because yeah, it doesn't, the, thing is, the, the rules of it change every two seconds. He gets pe- he gets people's like, hands. He says, "Oh, wish for something," and then mm. they say that he takes something in return for mm. them wishing something. But I'm pretty sure the original stone doesn't do that. I mean, it technically does does, because it takes, like, that's one of the things that they do. It doesn't take anything from Barbara. It takes Wonder Woman's powers slowly. No, but but don't don't you remember? That scene was kind of cheesy where Wonder Woman's getting beaten up by um, Barbara before she becomes cheater. And then she's like, look at what it's taking her. He's taking your warmth and it's taking your love or whatever. (laughs) The the, the line was that weird (laughs) scene. That's what it took from her, apparently. Uh, Wonder Woman, it took... um, like her powers which that's another thing that makes no sense how could she still use some of her powers this isn't like spider-man 2 or superman 2 where like all their powers are completely gone she could still like kick trucks over and do what uh, the powers that the plot needs her to do um such as turn a jet invisible which i'm gonna get to in a minute that's like a separate (laughs) point but um the uh the the thing about her losing her powers doesn't make sense because she could kick the truck over but then she gets shot then she gets injured somehow. So they don't go into any detail or depth of how to how she loses her powers or how that works, like which powers she's lost and all that sort of thing. Um, but with the, the Steve Trevor thing, the, 
because he's like the one of the biggest problems in this movie because he doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, like his appearance or reappearance doesn't. Uh, the scene where they go to the jet, this whole scene just was made just. It did not make a lick of sense at all. They, they tried like, to fit in this fan service sort of thing of the invisible jet, but it's, I think it just failed. First of all, how could Steve Trevor, who was from the First World War, fly a jet from the 1980s? <laughs> it's actually, I, I was confused about that because he gets into yeah. like a modern jet and just flies it like it's and like he just the same thing. Pushing buttons, like, oh, this works, this works. Let's just put <laughs> this on, and now we're gonna fly. And then, what do, and then they start flying. Uh, and then Wonder Woman, who's apparently never done this ability before, never will again because she never does it in any of the other movies, uh, turns she the into jet- a mug apparently. Oh yeah, mug, and then she loses it. And keep in mind, this is while she's losing her powers, she can somehow master the ability that she's never done before to turn the jet invisible while she's losing her powers. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That uh, was like what? This uh, this movie just is it just does things. Things just happen. There's no ex- logical explanation behind anything in this movie, like at all. It, it's just a it big mess. I yeah. like the w- one of the main problems for me with this movie, and I think this is the final problem I'm going to speak on because my brain can't handle it anymore. <laughs> I spoke about Barbara. I spoke about Steve. That was a problem. Um, her armor was fine. I, I, I you didn't like it, or you thought it was pointless. I, I, don't I like thought that. It, I, I thought it looked nice. The thing with that I armor for me nice. is that uh, a why doesn't she just wear it all the time if it's so I- I- impeccably invulnerable? Why doesn't she just wear it all the time when she's just fighting regular thugs? That's true. I don't get why she wears difference. the normal like just her normal armor. That yeah, that wasn't the problem for me though. The problem that. for me was that cheat. The two problems actually that cheat a boss fight. Uh, boss, boss fight. fight. Yeah, it in looked qu- like a boss fight. It looked like a bloody video game. <laughs> it was just it looked, yeah, totally on the PS2. Yeah. yeah. This this cheat fight. Well, Metal Gear Solid Three came out on the PS2. That game looked a lot better than that. Well, there you go then. But the thing is, this this fight like is like meant to be sort of one of the main fights in the in the movie. It's the main fight. It's like the, it's the yeah. Battle. It it's, lasts about a minute. It lasts about two minutes, and then it's Cheetah it's gets electrocuted such, like someone just threw a toaster into the water. Well. It's 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 mad. But she she's dies, but then she comes electron. back to life later. She comes back to she's life like, later, doesn't she? Well, she doesn't die, though, she. She just, like, gets a bit... She gets like, a little Well, I'm pretty sure she would have died because she, she gets shocked and she falls into the water and Diana just leaves her there. She walks but off. So clearly she would have drowned in that time. Also, the, the thing that, that kind of gets me is people, like, would say, oh, um, you only hate this movie. Like, I I know there's going to be people who do... not Maybe not for us because we don't have a huge channel, but for the bigger channels and who have been reviewing this movie... And they say they don't like it. I know there's going to be people who are saying, "Oh no, the only reason you don't like it is because you hate women and you you don't believe in feminist ideals or whatever." The thing is, neither does this movie because the the thing Wonder is, Woman says this movie. If it was trying to do feminist things, which I got a few slight vibes of here and there, it didn't uh, do no, it right. No, no, no. I, I'll tell you why that they did. Why I think they didn't though. Why why they failed at that? Because you know, with Wonder Woman in the movie, she says mm. that the only time she's ever been happy. This is like basically a line of dialogue in the movie. She says that the only time she's ever been happy is when she's with Steve, and then she's been like all depressed and all that, and I guess throughout the times while she hasn't had Steve, and then as soon as Steve comes back, um, she's happy again and she doesn't want to let him go. So the whole uh, the whole whole point of Wonder Woman's character is that she's like a independent, independent like, strong, woman, yeah, strong female character, but then she, her whole purpose in this movie is defined by a man. So it's like, why, why you, like, the, pe- the people who are saying that you don't like it because it's uh, feminist, it's not really, it kind of goes against what... I, I can, def- I can defend this, I can defend this for me personally. If you want to see a good feminist sort of superhero thing, you can go and look at uh, Avengers Infinity War, there's a scene in there. Avengers Endgame, there's a scene in there. And if you yeah. do watch The Boys, The Boys Season 2 finale, there's a whole scene called Girls Get It Done and it's flipping sick. Yeah. So if you want to see good feminist things, you go and watch them. This go and watch, du- some other, this, go this watch like, I don't know, like Star Wars. Look at, yeah, Star uh, Wars Ahsoka. as well, yeah. Look at yeah. Ahsoka, look at Leia, look at... Uh, I don't know, like other characters, other franchises, like Avatar. Look at Katara. Look at characters like that. They they don't like make their whole purpose about a guy. Like is what what they did in this movie. So I guess the people who um who are saying that you don't like this movie because of femi- you don't believe in feminist ideals, you can't really bring that one up because it doesn't work with what this movie puts forward. And um, also, the way we're describing this movie sounds messy, but that's literally how this movie is. Like, it's it's exactly like that. It's just a complete jumbled mess. 
uh, which with very little plot to speak of. The whole plot is just basically trying to get the uh, Soul Stone back because obviously Maxwell Adams is uh, uh, like absorbed. Have you had a brain weapon. freeze? <laughs> yeah, uh, just, this movie's giving me a bloody stroke. Um, I said Maxwell Adams, not Maxwell Adams. Maxwell, <laughs> Maxwell Adams. <laughs> yeah. Maxwell, uh, Maxwell, a- a- Maxwell Adams, not Adams. This is the guy who made the Adventures of Billy and Mandy, which is the cartoon. Uh, Maxwell Lord. I don't remember the name. He wasn't a memorable villain. Uh, this movie. He was just some guy in a. Sh- he was just some guy in a suit. That's basically this movie how, in how general I remember. It's not very memorable, to be honest. I mean, it's just it's a trade wreck of a movie, in my opinion. That. It, it ranks down there with some of DC's worst like efforts so far, in my opinion. It feels super lazy, and I, I, th- part of me, like the pessimistic side of me, believes that the reason they did this is because they thought this would come out in cinemas and people would go and pay and watch it because they like the first movie, so they could just do whatever the hell they felt like and just spit anything out there, and that'd be that'd be it. I guess the only other thing that we haven't really mentioned. Um, no, wait, I want to. I want to mention three something. Things. I want to mention that, something yeah, big that was like this, this is my final point on this. I'm um, then yeah. I'm done. Oh. This why is there nukes flying left or like this movie yeah, is such that was a big one of my mess. Three points. Yeah, the president stuff didn't make any sense. The terrorism the, stuff didn't make it with the, the, fact the nukes that, and the, the fact wars. That, and... That Maxwell Lord said that he's gonna. <laughs> He's gonna, he's gonna shoot out um, atoms, <laughs> or not at, like atoms from like the TV thing, not atoms, particles or whatever from the TV that are gonna touch people, and those atoms are gonna touch him, <laughs> and that's how he can get, grant everyone's wishes around the world. That is a plot point in this movie. What? The, uh, I just yeah, I don't, huh? I'm 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 uh, I'm done. I, I'm done. No, this movie is a big mess. I've got I got two other things to say. First, that was one of them. Uh, we already talked about the final battle with Cheetah, which was stupid. It was lit horribly. It looked disgusting. The CGI was terrible. Um, and then there's the thing with uh, another thing that I want to talk about was Maxwell uh, Lord, like kind of going all berserk and like screaming, like oh, I'm gonna grant everyone's wishes, and he's got his arms flailed up in the air like he's uh, like a Power Rangers villain or something. Actually, to be fair, at least Power Rangers villains look cool at times, but. Um, the, there's the scene where Wonder Woman tries to throw the lasso at him, and then she goes flying backwards, and then she's just sitting there giving a big speech, uh, and then Maxwell um, Lord is like, who are you talking, uh, or uh, I'm not going to listen, or whatever he says, and then she's like, I'm not talking to you, and then the lasso is just wrapped around his leg, somehow. Uh, how that got around there, we don't find out, because this movie doesn't explain anything. Yeah, they don't show it, yeah. Uh, and then everyone on the planet relinquishes their wishes somehow. Uh, because that was the I think that was the truth aspect that I was talking about earlier. It, That's it what was, I think. Yeah, it was, but yeah. are you telling me that the way humans are, every single person is going to relinquish their wish that like uh, that kind? They of... even they even showed the terrorists doing it as well. To be fair, <laughs> yeah, because terrorists are totally going to care about the fate of the world, and they're just going to relinquish their wishes. It's, that was a bit that... far fetched. <laughs> you know, it's all it, far fetched. You know, it re- yeah, this whole movie like stretches your suspension of disbelief to a stupid level um the the thing i don't the thing that i thought was kind of hilarious is that the the ending felt like a uh because who did i watch who said this no yeah it was chris Tutman again he said it, and i as soon as i heard this i was like this is true the ending of this movie is a rip off of dragon ball z Le- Diane is basically like, let me your energy. Oh, the spirit let, bomb. Let, let, let me your uh, lying or truth energy or whatever, and I'm going to use it to spirit bomb Maxwell Lord's wishes out of existence. It's literally the end of the Boo saga, but in Wonder Woman. No one dies in this movie, do they? Because everything just gets re- reversed, doesn't it? Well, yeah, sure so it does, the movie's yeah. kind of a waste of time. But also, you're telling me that everyone in modern day just doesn't remember the day in the 80s when everyone's wishes were just being granted and there's about to be nuclear warfare with, like, six million there was nukes. Like, there was, like, there was legit the about 13 nukes in the sky yeah. <laughs> launching it, from, like, every it's, country. It's so dumb. <laughs> and then uh, the movie ends with the scene where uh, the guy's name in the credits is Handsome Man. I'll just say that. <laughs> is it? Uh, I didn't see that. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Handsome yeah, man shows that. up and talks to Wonder Woman <laughs> uh, and <laughs> does what he says. And then, uh, yeah, Handsome Man shows up and talks to Wonder Woman and says to her that this, um, uh, I don't remember what they said, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of checked out by that point. And then we get a post credit. He's scene. wearing the same clothes as Steve Trevor was when she was dressing yeah, yeah, him cause, up. Because he must have woken up and been like, where the hell am I? What's happened? Why is this going on? Uh, I don't know where I am. 
because uh, I'm I'm not Steve Trevor. I'm some random guy whose life has just been taken over, and I was chosen for some reason. <laughs> Do you think he's more coming like I'm a handsome man? He just got <laughs> up the bed. Yeah, yeah. They don't even give him a name. Handsome man. That's when you know this movie's given up. I don't. Th- that's um, like that's how you know that they're not planning to do any- anything with him. Like in like ever, any point yeah. forward. Well, they yeah. might. Handsome man could become a character. You never know. They might give him. Yeah, a but he'll al- he'll um, always be known as handsome man. Yeah, yeah. In the hearts of everyone who watched this movie and loved it, which I don't think is many people, based on the IMDb score. Uh, but they have um a post credit scene or mid credit scene, I guess, where um. We see Asteria, who's the lady uh, who had the golden eagle armor originally. Uh, like, there's like something that's about to fall on top of someone. She catches it, and she turns around, and Linda Carter is standing there as Asteria, and she breaks the fourth wall, winks at the camera, and that kind of, that's kind of a cool scene. Um, and that's that's Wonder Woman 1984. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, I think um, it was it was horrible. <laughs> that's, it, I, yeah. It, I think it's a so, lot of people who are going to like this movie are DC fans, and when they like like hardcore ones, and when they come I, down from that high that they've just seen another DC movie, they I might come to the realization people, this I is horrible. I can't see many people like thinking this movie's anything amazing though, even because like even with, nah nah, like, but you weren't there. You weren't there. You know when um you know the um uh thingy um the premiere. DC uh, the premiere thing that they did in yeah. the fandom style. Yeah, yeah. You weren't there when they were doing that. Cause I accidentally clicked on it accidentally. I didn't want to optionally watch this, but I like I didn't want to sorry um intentionally watch this. It was um it was kind of just accidentally happened, and um it was after the film, and everyone was sort of just like hyping it up. Um, I I now I see I've seen the film. I, I feel I just, like it's this horrible. movie isn't even one of those movies that you like you even overly think about and realize it's got issues it's just it has issues just straight up like there's just like there's not even any two ways about it you just think for like a nanosecond about anything that happens in this movie and most of it makes no sense um, i can't think of one like thing in this movie that i mm. actually like like wholeheartedly that i could like i liked like that, enjoyed. You had, that you had no issues with yeah yeah, yeah. everything has a problem yeah um but the <sighs> I wish it was better than it was, because I actually like liked the first Wonder Woman, and uh, I wish this was so much better than it was. Um, so yeah, as as we said earlier, thinking about how much stupid this movie is, like talking about it again, maybe my, I might consider dropping my score to a three, you know, instead of a four. I don't know. What what did you say? I said thinking about how stupid this movie is. Um, I might oh, dropping, dropping your score, score dropping your like score. Three, yeah. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. It's definitely one of the. It's it's definitely back to the old, good old, crap DC movies style that we're used to. Yeah, for, for like a bit that we had for a bit, and then we it went up. A we had like that year. that like peak of which was Shazam. Uh, it started with Aquaman, Joker, in my opinion. Shazam, went to Shazam, yeah. then stayed with Joker consistently, and the line just dropped again. Uh, I don't, I don't uh, know. We should have. We should have got. Hope, we should have got. We should have got the boys on. We should have got. We should have got Top Man Sid and Jay on. We could have. Yeah, yeah. We could have had a big discussion I don't, I don't about this. Yeah, I don't think they've seen it yet. So, Sid, if you're watching this, then uh, don't watch let it. Me know, <laughs> let me know what you think about. The, he won't be watching the spoiler part, but if he eventually does, then let me know what you think about the movie. Um, but yeah, the, the the movie just wasn't good. I'm hope. I'm hopeful for the Suicide Squad now. I hope Rogue Squadron is. I think that would be good because Patty Jenkins is like. <sighs> I think Patty that I think that would be good because our man James Gunn's directing that and he does yeah. mostly a good job with most of his films, so I think it would, that would be decent. I'm hoping that Rogue Squadron is not like. I hope this is just a one off for Patty Jenkins because she's a good director, so I hope they don't mess it. She doesn't mess up Rogue Squadron because if if she messes that movie up, I you, I'm annoyed about this. You think that what after what she if she did that to Star Wars, bloody hell, I'd lose my. Is, is then then is Jan, then is John Watts level? It's John Watts level, isn't it? Really? Yeah, she's the female John Watts at that point. But um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't watch this movie. No, actually, go watch. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, do what you want opinion, to be honest. I guess. Form your own opinion. But uh, if you want, if you have watched sucks. it, let us know what you think and let us know like different like of different opinions on what actually happened because a lot yeah. happened in this movie and we didn't obviously go through all of it but this move this not this video isn't a movie i was going to call it a movie uh i'm losing my mind here <laughs> um it's this okay. video your, is coming to about 40 make, minutes all the things i go through your mind probably make about as much sense as what happened in the movie uh but. it's just very confusing and i honestly just want to forget about this movie 
after this review. The only reason I was keeping this movie in my mind was for this review, so we could mm. sort of just get all the opinions out. And now I can just let it go from the mind. I'll never watch that movie ever again, by the way. There's a very little chance I'm going to be watching that film yeah. ever again. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all I have to really say on it, to be honest. Same. So My score, I'd still, I'll keep it at a four. I'll keep it at four. Yeah, I, I guess that's it then. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to give it a like. Uh, let us know what you thought of Body Woman 84 in the comments if you've seen it. Um, if you liked the movie, let us know why. I'm very interested to hear why. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, if you guys like this video, be sure to drop it a like. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, check out our Instagram, link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. See ya.